Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 36 of Let's Play An Empire Divided on the Eagle Rising mod. We're going to get straight into sieging on more, which is uh, currently our target. So let's... Uh... Okay, one second. Has that deployed me? Yeah, for some reason, I'm deployed over here. Now, I'm gonna, you're probably going to think, Joe, why do you know where you didn't deploy? And this is because I, this is technically my second time recording this, uh, as I did put the realistic arrow arch on, arches on, and I just did not like it. I don't think it really added a lot, so I turned it off. Uh, but... It, it, it basically just kind of made this battle feel a little less boring, so I just decided to turn it off. By the way, we did win the battle, which is annoying, because, you know, nothing like playing 10 minutes and then being like, nah, scrap it. But at least I'm, at least I'm willing to be... I'm going to happily be honest with that, because I did do it. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are uh, not bothered about that. But let's just continue with the uh, the good mod, the good version part of the RBM, which is no realistic. Where the fuck are you dickheads going? Like, why are you guys running away? Oh, okay, you're not, you're not running away. You're going to the other side. But for some reason, only a few men are actually willing to go up to this side. That's okay. My legion's with me. I love them. Look at this guy. He's a, he's a Mercenarius. Oh, damn it. No. Oh, there we go. Thank fuck. Oh, damn. That was... That's what I call some heavy hitting. Yeah, I, I don't know what you guys are doing down there, because that feels not as smart, but okay. I can't throw shit save my life, apparently. So yeah, today's episode, we are going to be focusing heavily on just battering these guys, I think. Because once these guys are out of our realm, we'll be able to focus on fixing the... Uh, oh, fucking hell. You... I got myself caught there. Yeah, but once we take out these guys, we'll be able to focus on uh, taking out the... Uh, Imperium to the south of us. Or even Britannia, because, you know, we're not friends with any of them. Alright. I backed myself up a little bit there, but that's okay. Gotta hope I can get through to my... Hope I can get through to start having a little bit of a play again. Because it's a siege, we don't need to be, you know, as in command as normal. So, just let the fight happen, you know, as they say. Slowly but surely, as they say. Slowly but surely. Yeah, as usual, our, uh, we're dominating them as we need to. Uh, I think, like I said, once we take all the land on this side and we're able to, you know, use our influence to get rid of the, uh, uh, get rid of the really shit uh, thing that they, for some reason, uh, for some reason, the previous king uh, Imperator put in, we'll be able to start making this country viable. But at the moment, conquering Amor isn't really viable in terms of keeping, like, it's, well, conquering is viable, but keeping it is not. Purely because we just, we lose, we, 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 too much loyalty is taken right now by the, uh, from the game. So unless Amor is like this perfect city, we're going to be having a problem. Now, we'll, we will take every single city we are allowed to take. We will not be keeping them, mind you. That was also a random fucking hit that just knocked me the fuck out, but... Yeah, we will um, be taking every city, and what we'll be doing is we'll be dis we'll be kind of handing them out to the people who des need them the most. Like we're going to be essentially just giving people who deserve them. You know, actually, we'll, we'll also recruit those in a minute. I want to make sure I can upgrade any troops I've already got to that level if necessary. But yeah, as I was saying, like we, we want to make sure that um, everyone in our kingdom gets what they deserve. So, am I out of? Yeah, I oh, see. I was I was missing a single guy there. And now I can't recruit you. Why is that? Okay. Uh, right, so we'll quickly leave Amor. So Amor is now taken. We need about a thousand influence to do what I want to do, which is revoke... Uh, not serfdom, it's uh, private task collectors. Legitimately one of the fucking worst things you can have. Um, now, who deserves Amor? Let's... Uh, let's gift Amor to someone with zero... F oh, sorry, one, everyone only has one thief. Other than me. So at that point, it becomes who has the most family members, and it would be the Juni. So the Juni are going to take look after that. Oh, there's an army there. I do wish you. All right, let's do this. And because I'm the Imperator, any armies in this vicinity, I automatically gain full control of. So we do have our two armies at the moment. Sorry, our two units at the moment. Get a. Uh... Yeah, put them in two separate like that for now. Right. Uh, do we also have horse archers? Yeah, we do. We have seven of them. 
Captain Archers! Take over, footmen! Move! Cavalry! Move! Archers! Move! Actually, Sagittari pull this way. Cavalry go that way, actually. Infantry. Move! Go there. Archers! Yeah, archers need to. I'm gonna put my archers in reserve for now. We're gonna leave them off. Infantry! Move! Footmen! Move! Everyone! Face in the cavalry! Kill them all! Okay, so our cavalry is gonna go kill the enemy cav. Infantry! Form a wall! Infantry! Forward! Cavalry! Inf move! Move! Yeah, so enemy cavalry wall should get put down. Now, I have to remember that I'm on horseback as well, uh, even though I'd much prefer to be on foot. Horse infantry! <laughs> Turn! Arch Horse footman! Move! Infantry! Rider! Bowman! Forward! Move! Footman! Advance! Cavalry! Infantry! Forward! Move! My infantry should be advancing now in an ex in a Oh my god, their shields are getting ripped to pieces. Infantry! Jump! Cavalry! Move! Nope, cavalry, stay over there. Alright, let's engage the mid enemy front line and try and put up my uh You know what? I might just accept that people are gonna get out of my prison and just go back to being on fighting on foot. I legit think that'll be the better choice right now. Because fighting on horseback is not as much fun in this one when I could just be running around. You know, I think it's RBM. Like I said, I think RBM just, into me, ruins cavalry. It's just not as fun to play as one. Which does mean I, it does mean it opens up being a footman, which is way more important by fun for me in a lot of the game. We've currently lost 10 so, men so far. There we go, just batter these guys down. Now, I haven't done a perfect formation here, and my horse is gone. Oh, no. Yeah, this is fucking... There we go, it's posture. There we go, get fucked. We've lost two troops personally so far, so the, em the Imperator's army is looking good. Slowly but surely, as they say. Yeah, so this wasn't a perfect battle to bring me back into RBM, because after like a week of not playing it, but still. It definitely, uh, I'm definitely going to take myself off the horse for now, I think. I, I, I do want to try horsemanship, but just not at the moment. Like at the moment, I think we're in a too big of a pivotal part of the campaign where we need to try and... It re we need to re-establish ourselves after the loss of our Imperator. Yeah, this is a, this is a very important fight. Okay, I'm going to pull out of the way now then. Yes, yeah, so we lost a... We lost no... Oh, we lost a Victorus, which I think we have loads of anyway, so... We're not getting as much influence per fight as I'd like, but then again, this was a very easy fight, so I'm not going to pretend that we deserved it for this one. Agrigus, uh, Tiro... Yeah, that's everything in there that we can recruit. So let's recruit them. Let's get out of it. So we got, we've got money. Ooh. Unfortunately, not something I can equip. It's also a legendary, oh, not a legendary empire. So, you know, it's also not allowed something we're really allowed, but it's okay. All right, this castle's next on the bl chopping block. What is the Moor's loyalty looking like? Going into the bin. Yep, that's about right. How are the loyalty of my provinces? I have... Free. So loyalty up, loyalty up, loyalty up. Um, so everywhere is doing what they can right now. That's what matters. These wall being walls being partially broke feels like I've already been here. Obviously, I know that's a joke. I know I've already taken this castle recently. Hey right, Trebuchet, I expect you to rip the cat. Treb oh, okay. Sucking horribly was not on my, uh, you know, on the cards of what I would expect you to do. 
Uh, just break. There we go. Just say break that. It's also nice and cheap comparatively now to run troops. And we're not going to waste our time doing the fight. It's an easy fight. Why bother? Just get it, get it done. Uh, we will pillage. Accept this. Uh, replace any troops we are missing. Okay, we've got loads of Exolaris. We could have a... Okay, I don't know why we could suddenly have one more of you, but that's okay. Uh, clan. Not clan, sorry. Uh, castle. What can, we still have factions that are demanding secession. That's fine. Uh, this castle. The Antoni now. There we go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rebuilding the loyalty of our arm and our allies. It's been a... All right, another big fight. So this is going to be a nice... I think this is going to be pretty much the uh, routine going forward. Is nice big fights continuously. Is this a fucking settlement battle? Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, we have like no archers. Cool. Yeah, having a second set of infantry right now doesn't feel as useful. Horse or sergeants, everyone turn to a horse archer. Follow your sergeants. Now we are the attacker, which means we need to make sure. Oh, so yeah, I need to get this fucking horse. Like, just get the hell off it. Infantry. Like, I feel like I command Forward. much better Forward. without on being on horseback. Forward. Move, move. Infantry. Footmen. Yeah, we'll just keep our men coming. Horsemen! Go chuck our horse miles off into the distance for now. Move! Infantry! Forward! Our forward! Infantry! Forward! Slowly but surely my men will march up. I kind of want to put my army into one big block again. I just want to kind of elongate them, but we'll see. I don't think it's going to be the wisest choice just yet. Cavalry, move! Rider, move! I'm going to turn my rider and my cavalry onto a different Footman. flank. They have 84 skirmishes. That's. Soldiers. You know what? Infantry, move! I'm going to move all infantry into one unit again, Archer. and because we're going to move. need to. Infantry! My men are going to immediately engage. Cavalry, go over there. Force archers. Uh, fuck up those guys. Archers. I'm going to pull them up to this flank so they're more on our side. More on the side they should be at. Actually, reorganize. Guys, I need you to reorganize. Yeah, right now, my men are not organized, which is a problem. Do it. Yeah, I think I think they're organized enough now. This isn't the perfect archer point, but it's better than what they were. Alright, let's do this. So their front line's already diminished quite heavily, which is good. Now let's go do our bit for the a bit of this fight. Alright, fuck you. Yeah, so we'll we'll have a quick like uh, focus down for a little bit and then we'll uh then we'll change the organization of our troops when necessary. I think for this battle specifically, going back to a single line will actually help us. Because we're essentially blocking our, our, our infantry with their infantry. Some motherfucker, you can charge me all you want. I'm still taking you the fuck out, even if you're on horseback. Hey, 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 don't do my strategy, you asshole. It is a little bit dark as well, so I can't really see as much. So hopefully you guys can see a little bit. Alright, there we go. Just keep 
slowly battering all these dipshits. How are we doing? Yeah, step back. There we go. We're fine. Yeah, our Sagittarius has been run over. We're going to retreat our Sagittarius. We don't need them right now. Yeah, we're going to ignore enemy cavalry and just focus the uh, enemy uh, Sagittarius. This is the big thing that they have is they have a lot of Sagittarius. So we need to... And because our Sagittarius is very low level, we don't ever seem to deploy with many. And I'm about to get myself knocked out again. Yeah, I'm going to move to a move to the flank where there's not as many Sagittarii trying to murder me. I mean, right now, speaking-wise, we're doing really well. Um, we've lost 49 troops, three of which are ours. Um, 23 overall for the Empire. And the real problem is we're starting to, you know, push them out of bounds, and I can't actually fight them out of bounds. So we are getting to the point where me being unconscious might actually be a lifesaver. So we'll do what we can, but uh, our men are going to have to do the rest, unfortunately, I think. Okay, the enemy Sagittarius are getting absolutely wrecked now, which is great. Um, I'm tr I need to pull back just enough that I can tell them to target the infantry. There we go. We'll have a bunch of cavalry now charging into the infantry. Should be able to break them up. The monotony, the monotony of the actual front line up for a little bit and kind of... I don't think he'll push it back where I can fight. Well, luckily, didn't need to because I got my ass knocked out. My lovely lady wife's still fighting. We only had, we had three troops run away. Obviously, by choice, I told them to uh, withdraw. The yeah, so these dipshits are now in prison. Are uh, you any troops that I would actually recruit? Yes, you have. You've got a Grigus. The rest of those are completely useless to me. We'll take you. Go. Right, we're we missing anything. I've, I'm probably still overkill for everything. Yep. Okay, good. Right. Uh, taking Vacheg, Revo, and Ustakol is my main goal in this war. Uh, my son, Brigantos, he is going to be... Uh, we're going to do Intelligence and then con do Vigor. A social and cunning up. Social and cunning up as well. Good lad. More Praetorians uh, wish to join our ranks. That's great. Um... These are just such bad fucking... Like, Castle Chai's like... I could do this. It's a great thing to do, but it's just not worth paying right now. Also, Lord's Privy Council. Another great thing we need to implement. Just not yet. There's only 129 defenders of Varchek, so we'll take this very quickly then. What do we got here? We've got two more men. Join the fight, my boys. Uh, what clan tier are we? What clan tier five? Did we recently just become we may have just come we, we may have recently just become clan tier five? That would explain why I'm suddenly allowed more Praetorians. But nothing else seems to have gone up, which is a little rude to be honest game. Now, obviously, I know this is going to be essentially just a waste of time loyalty-wise because they ain't going to, you know, want to be loyal to us. But... Yeah, we'll just quickly send our troops in there and let them get destroyed, enemy get destroyed. Again, we'll not waste our time doing it ourselves. I do apologize if you're missing it. If you, you know, you're upset that we missed the siege, but it's just not worth doing. I want to give you guys the good content, and uh, honestly... This... this this siege is not it. Okay, so Varchek. Let's give this to Tarpe. Yeah. Plans are now starting to get on my side, which is good. So I'm hoping they'll start to be less problematic. Like, if I wanted to get rid of Serfdom. Getting more expensive, actually, which is annoying. Anyway, let's go take this castle back. And by take, I mean, we'll, we'll probably have to take it back. But uh, 
Yeah, we have to spend a little bit more points there. I'm assuming it's probably a decent side. Yeah, 700. Okay, we actually may need more. That's Rebels and Varchek. Instant Rebels. you got to be kidding me. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh, shit. But it'd help if I actually clicked on them, wouldn't it? There we go. I was about to say, you know, not clicking on them isn't going to really give results. Under my orders. Right. Um, Infantry. We are class of defending, and I still forgot to take myself for the cavalry. Footmen. Oh, this is perfect. Men, rush, rush there. Cavalry. Move. Soldiers. Move. Move. Infantry. Form a shield wall. Forward! No, I'm going to rush my other infantry into that line again. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of horse, in, horse shenanigans quickly. Try and just level up my riding a little bit, I guess. Knocking them off the horse is pretty much enough to really say that, you know, they're dealt with, to be fair. All right, let's get off this shitty horse. All right, let's let our front line keep pushing forward. Wow, that was a fuck up throw at the last second there. They have... They don't seem to have many ranged units because I can't see any. Yeah, we're dealing with the enemy cavalry as best we can. Let's take you out. There we go. Just got to find the right angle past his shield and we'll be good. I should have known Varcheg would be immediately fucking problematic. But as long as it's not in the enemy's hand, that's, you know, better than it could have been. Okay, this, for, this should help us. They don't seem to want to charge us, so we're going to continue holding this position because I think we're doing just fine. Like, they attacked... We, I mean, they technically attacked my Selman, which that's why we're on the defensive, so... Better to play defensive than give them, you know, the four, like, a, a, you know, a position of power over us. I don't even see that they have ranged troops, really. Okay, the game just crashed. Lovely. Fuck's sake. I, I don't understand. And the thing is, we're now going to have to deal with a really shitty, updated crash launcher. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's fine. We're good. So I do apologize about the crash there. This I don't know why the mod seems a little unstable, but it's fine. We'll, we'll be fine. This is really not what I wanted for my uh, recording session today, but it's okay. We will be awesome. Uh, I will still do the fight again, obviously. We'll just, uh... Oh, maybe I'll be more aggressive this time. Maybe that'll shut the... That Maybe that'll make the game happier. Quickly, you know, breeze past that. I think this is the longest part. Yeah, that is the longest loading screen. Just that part, getting past the intro. But it's okay. We got this. We lost. Oh, quite a bit of time, unfortunately. That's a problem. Did we lose the Siege of Varcheg? Or what did we lose is the real question.
yes, we indeed lost the Siege of Varcheg. Well, before we continue on, I'm going to replace this army then, because, you know, we a lot of our troops in here are kind of garbage. So we'll, we'll kick those all out, and then we'll uh, just get some of the better, like, heavier armies and get back in. Okay, uh, intelligence and vigor. Endurance and cunning this time instead of social and cunning. I mean, I think I'd have preferred social and cunning, but... What are you going to do? Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for uh, sieges. Actually, there's one thing I need to know. Is there any, like, uh, key binding where I can just, like, do a quick save so I don't have to go to the main menu? No. I feel like it should be universal that F5 is just the quick save on every single game ever made. Because I just think that makes a lot of sense. Now, we do know there's going to be a siege over there at some point. The question is really when, but... Now, because I uh, I can't... I definitely am not going to be able to do that big fight this turn. What we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to give you the Siege of Varcheg instead. And uh, we'll do it that way. So I do apologize. It's just not what I'd intended for this part at all. But uh, unfortunately, it's going to be how we deal with it. To uh, kind of just, you know, deal with the fact that we kind of... The game just, you know, was a bit mean to us. Arch. And, yep, I still forget to take myself off a fucking horse. God damn it. Really does be one of those days, doesn't it? Where they get... I'm just... I just... I'm forgetting things left and right. Yeah, let's not let them break our shield, because we kind of need that. With our shield, we personally are very weak. It's also not like them to be that up close and personal. They, they normally let us come in. Yeah, they're normally a lot more inviting, which is just a bit rude of them, personally. There we go. And let me stab a few people in the face. That's a lot more inviting. Well done, guys. You're learning your lesson. Okay, so this is... Uh, once we're in here, we'll... Uh... Yeah, this isn't going to be a very quick, far, long siege. Sorry, yeah, very long siege. But I just wanted to give it to you guys for the crash, because I did need to end the part. But, uh, yeah, I'd say, I'll be honest. I'd feel a little horrible just ending it there, you know? There's all those guys down. We have 37 left. That's, sorry, 30 left. We've already lost three troops this fight, which is really not a problem. I am looking forward to peace where I'm going to be able to pick up a lot more troops again, and we're going to be running 400 troops. That's going to really make my day. Like, running four troops, 100 troops alone is going to make us, like, as a kingdom, vastly superior now in uh, to how we were. We're still not going to be perfect, mind you. We've still got a lot of work so we can match, you know, the other Imperiums unit for unit. But I think we're going to be okay. Let's go to wait for the enemy to die now. Celebrating a tad early, but let's be honest, we've definitely won. Great fight, nevertheless, eh? There we go. All right, uh, I'll take all of you. Take you. We're going to quickly give this thief to... Uh, whoever it was last time it was a top A. And I'm actually going to do something again that I didn't do last time, but I'm just going to give away all...
keeping those. If away that, because again, influence. And unfortunately, guys, this is going to be where we have to end this part. And in the next part, we will uh, go deal with what I'm assuming is going to be an army coming over here. And then we'll try and take Revel and Ustakov. Is it Ustakol or Ustakov? I think it's Ustakol. It's the Cole Castle. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel membership if you're interested. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.